I'm not going to. Now, this place looks a little... I I'm not sure what this place looked like before. I don't think anyone else did, but I don't think it was this elaborate. I think the Lord liked having things... normal. Now, there's a lot of coins. There's a lot of coins in this castle, but... I'm not going to collect them, not in front of your face. I mean, I will collect a lot, because there's a couple points in the game where you're gonna need a lot of money. And I'd rather just get that right now. Also, what I'm doing right now is kinda dangerous. Using the chain pipe to kill enemies near while near star blocks is a risky endeavor. Now, let me show you what happens when you fall in a pit. Character screams, you lose half a heart, that's it. With the silver key in hand, you can open up that lock. You don't lose a life for falling down a pit. I mean, well, I don't think I'd have to explain something. I'd switch characters for the variety of it. Also because there's grunts in here to fight, and a giant blue person. A giant blue doll with a rose bouquet and a chastity belt on. Not so much a chastity belt, but it's still iron underwear. I mean, come on. Plus, if you look like that, I don't think you'd need one. Just my personal opinion. So, anyway, there's a couple other uh, recurring things in this game. First off, this is called Mr. Elephant. It's from all the other na It's from all the other games. Instead of being a continue point, it's our map. It's a, it's the dungeon map, basically. Not a world map, dungeon map. Now, about the dungeon map, that flashing red room, that's obviously where we are. The yellow dots are doors. If you press B, you'll look up a floor, and if you press A, you'll look down a floor. And C up for camera, and C down for angle. If you couldn't read it on the screen. In which case, why the fuck are you watching a video? You're blind! So, Ibisumaru thinks he's a bird. It, it, he's, let's just say he's a little messed up in the head. A little Richard Simmons messed up in the head. And I got hit there because I just suck. I got owned by a doll. What can I say? Also, these these green enemies, they shoot the silver balls, which kind of shots. Now, here's a little bit of Legend of Zelda fanfare in here, which it shows some of the game's inspiration. Yeah! Floating tiles! Kill three of them, and a silver key appears. But now I've just lost all interest in destroying more tiles, so I get the heck out of there. Now... I could go through there and get something that we need, but I'm feeling a particularly greedy and I want to get out something out of the way for now. A little bit of an explanation. You go through this door, it's a big room, well not, it's a very tiny room with super dumplings and three pots full of coins. It's 70 Rio, all. It's 70 Rio and all. 30 in the first, 20 in the second, and, and third ones. Now, when you leave the room and come back, it all reappears, which is what I try to state. So now, through the process of movie magic, I've edited out my collecting all those coins. So you don't have to suffer through it. I collected. I, I always collect about a thousand in that room. I highly recommend it. It doesn't take that long, but I still didn't want you guys to suffer through my money collecting. Oh, fuck you! Frazzle, frazzle, frazzle. I didn't collect any armor. I could have. I could have. But there's better armor in the game, and it normally just gets chipped away really fast, and you don't really need it. Oh, by the way, there's another variation of the same doll, a light blue one that tries to jump on you. How cute, it thinks it's Mario. Well, 
Princess Peach, probably. Whatever. It's a puss fest anyway. Now we have the gold key. That's the second level of key. It opens up a gold lock, which obviously opens up the important... The important amenities. The important area of the dungeon. Now there's... You see that... I hope you guys saw that huge pair of stone feet in the center of the room back there. That was a bit of a foreshadowing. And I fell down a pit again because I suck. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Remember what that stone... Remember the, those stone feet there. They're important. I guarantee it. I swear it. I'm not lying. Do you think I'm lying? You better not. Now, this is where the game gets really weird. I mean, floor scrubbing dumplings? What the fuck? They're invincible, you jump over them, they're much like the waves in Mario, only they hurt you. Now watch out, do not stand there. That's why. You get crushed by that, I think it's instant death. But it's worth it if you don't fall down. It's worth it because over there is a nice little silver key that you'll need to move farther in the game. But I want to head to the left. Divert a little because no dead end has no meaning. Now here we got little kabuki drummers or something like that. I, I don't know. Kabuki lizard drummers. That it's really weird. I don't think they're so much kabuki. But they kind of look like it. But we got another silver fortune doll. There's two more to collect in this area. I know so. I've played this game too much. Now with that silver key in tow, we can finally get through here. And... whoop de doo Now instead of taking that difficult platforming segment, I abuse the turtle and decide I'm just going to skip half of that. Just because. That's all it is. It's just more jumping. Seriously, screw that. Thanks for giving me options, Konami. Now, um, I was trying to avoid using the chain pipe he there because, obviously, if you miss an enemy and hit the chain pipe, you're probably just gonna swing yourself into another enemy or something like that. But whatever. Now, see this place? See that stone hand? It's blocking our way. We can't get through there. So, we're just gonna go through that door. And avoid the jumping motherfucker like a plague. Shoot the damn drummer. One, one hit normally kills everything, but those drummers, they take two. Well, I'm gonna call it damage. One damage. Now, uh... Remember that room. That's what I was trying to say. Remember that room on the map. That long, narrow passageway. It's important you memorize that. Now, that was pretty cool, how I killed an enemy and then attached to a star block. Probably because the chain went over the star block and then attached to it. I don't... I guess that works. Doesn't really matter. This is Mr. Arrow. He's our compass. That's right. I guess this game takes more from Zelda than it does from Mario, but it takes a balance. Like, it takes Mario's cheery music and attitude. Oh, by the way, here's some real ninjas. They throw stars. And I don't want to mess with them but one of them owns my fucking ass. And, by the way, also over here is another ninja who falls down. Another two ninja who fall down. And they totally massacre me. But there's also some money and a dumpling, so it's okay. I thought I'd shut up and let you guys enjoy the music for a bit before it repeated like that. Now, uh, this is an optional path. I just wanted the money because I'm greedy. I'm Wario. I'm a gonna eat. God, if you haven't watched my Wario Land 3 Let's Play on YouTube, eh? I think it's okay. 
But whatever. I digress. We're not here to talk about Warrior. We're here to talk about Mystical Ninja. Jumping on raising platforms over bottomless pits. I can't believe that an instant stage beam can create bottomless pits. Oh, nuts. And here we meet our first antagonist, who looks like the bastard child of Marilyn Manson and Krusty the Clown. Bozo the Clown. His name's Baron. A beautiful stage. What? Now, I accidentally let slip instant stage beam, but you'll know what that is. Why don't we? I say we beat him up now. Come on, kill him. Okay, the but You say you're going to beat me up, then you run away. You coward. So, in case you haven't noticed by the lull in the music, we're about to come up on a final boss. It also gives us a silver fortune doll. And now that big stone statue, those big feet, uh, they're, they're connected to the body on the second floor, which are connected to this head. This is important, I swear. But on another note, this boss is easy as crap. All you have to do is jump and hit that red gem on his forehead. Those flames don't even touch you if you stay close. There's only one somewhat difficult part, and it involves these lasers. Well, not even somewhat difficult, it's just different. I mean, that's it. You just jump over him. It's difficult to dodge him if you're preoccupied with, like, just pounding this guy in the face. Also, if you jump up and hit him, if you jump and hit him, you'll actually do two damage. As you can tell by the double number of hits you're hearing. Now, jumping over... The, I mean, this boss fight. Yeah, that's it. That, that's what this boss fight boils down to. Jump. Jump double hit. Until his head blows up. Until a part of his head blows up. Now, there's about six rounds of this. Before he actually bites it. So the battle's more long than anything. It's not... The lasers don't spin faster. The guy doesn't breathe fire faster. It's just the same thing over and over again. And I don't know why a stone statue would have teeth, but I guess that's the magic power of their friggin' beam. Yeah! Riveting! Excitement! Adventure! Platforming at its finest mystical ninja! God! Hurry up! This boss is a joke. I mean, Legend of Zelda had some pretty, uh, somewhat difficult bosses. But this game, not so much. Especially this guy. This guy is just a pushover. Just like that. He's fucking done. And a fiery blaze of explosions that doesn't seem to hurt going on in any way. He's a ninja, okay? Shut up. And now... We obtain the Miracle Moon. It's not important until later in the game. But the door unlocks, it opens... We can head inside. <gasps> There's the Lord and Princess Yuki. They're safe. Great. Now yeah, you are, you bastard. Fat fuck. Fat balding fuck. Yes, we did. It transformed, but apparently this room didn't get changed at all. I don't know why. Instant stage beam, see? Basically, it's state. It turns places into crazy madhouses full of platforming goodness and weird enemies. Yeah, he spun off in an awful hurry. He said it was gonna fight me, coward. No. Unfortunately, here we've got the audience from Saved by the Bell, as you can tell from that. We've got an obnoxious audience, but this is basically a big loop in the dialogue I'm showing you. 
We don't have a choice. The Lord will beg and beg and beg until we take the fucking job. That's great. I like you too, Lord. You lazy fucking son of a bitch. I'll come back and get you, boy. Now we, now we receive a super pass. This is important for later on. You could save your game here. But I didn't for recording's sake. Fourth wall breaking. Now, I, would I ran away from there because I completely forgot about this room again. This is where the stone hand was. And here I demonstrate the dangers of using the chain pipe for close range combat. But just don't do it. Just do not do it. It's not worth it. But I did manage to kill that guy without getting horribly maimed to reap the rewards. A giant treasure room full of money and a silver fortune doll. Hooray! Can I have it? I just wanted to save you guys my idiotic running around from <laughs> from not for not going into Oedo Castle, but here we're back at the hotel because I got to show off something I forgot to show off on my YouTube Let's Play. The rooms. Oh, okay. I'll stay in your room. I've only got one heart, half a heart of health I need recovered. I'm surprised this didn't lower your health. Like I'm surprised you didn't wake up. Garmon's face was all green. You've got pneumonia. But no. You'd have to go on some side quest for. After you, if your strength gauge is full, they'll give you this message saying, "Do you really want to do that?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I'll do it," because I've got tons of money. And the silver room is obviously a step up. It's a good, solid room. It's nice and warm. Nice and warm, kept at a good temperature. Now, let me show you the gold room. The gold suit. In the night of my life, are there hookers? I want some hookers. Well, there's women fanning me, so I'm, a guess I'm guessing they're my whores for the night. Awesome. Goemon lost his virginity. Goemon contracted syphilis. Oh no! Game over! <laughs> but seriously, uh, I have one last thing I want to do. You see these guys? Uh, I skipped this place before. This is the bridge that's, that was all the way across from that Silver Fortune doll that I swam to. With the Lord's Super Pass in tow, we can open that door. That door leads to the, our next destination. But I'm not going there. I don't feel like it. So suck it. I'm just going to head back to the hotel and call it quits for now. So, this has been the first... So, uh, this has been the first Let's Play Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. I'm the Impatient Geek. And I hope you all enjoy this Let's Play. I know I'll enjoy it. See you later, folks.